Hi guys! Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Being crazy. <laughs> Just leaving Target. It's Sunday morning. Thought I would do a little vlog today for Monday because I'm not really shopping. I'm not grocery shopping right now. I am embarking on um, the 2020 debt spend down, reduce the amount of spending, uh, not necessarily in groceries in life, but mostly oh, sorry. on, I just almost ran a red light, um, spending on or utilizing the things that I have before I buy more, if that makes sense. So today I ran to Target because I needed cat food cat litter today and I had to buy some candy for a DIY ish coming up I'm taking Dollar Tree those plastic hearts that are hollow and filling them with candy and decorating them a little bit for my co-workers so that's going to be coming up soon I just told you what it was now do I even need to record it um yes and so headed home from that little excursion, I have a mess in my living room. I'll show you when we get there. I went through all my couponing stuff in the basement and bags that I had upstairs that hadn't been put away yet. And um, sorted them with my niece, Sarah. Some of you wonder who Sarah is. She's my niece. She's at my house today with her crazy dog. And um, she's a teacher. And at her school, they have a pantry there are, you know, students that obviously have families in need and the school tries to help as best they can. And so I'm donating a bunch of things that the kids need. Shampoo, conditioner, body products, body wash, personal care items, things that I have. I'm donating to her school. And then my sister-in-law and her hometown, their school is starting the same thing. And so I'm splitting between the two schools this time around and obviously anything I need I'm keeping and any or that I will use and my parameter is what will I use in the next six months so uh, moisturizers I have enough shampoo to last me six months things like that um, personal care items and things so halfway done I went through the basement I had a shelf set up down there I just don't need a huge stockpile I'm a single lady I don't need a stockpile like that. Um, I sent her home with a bunch. I uh, will send her home with a bunch of laundry detergents, and she. Their school also has a laundry, and if students don't have the means at home, if they're you know, don't have the means to do laundry, the school will let them do it there. So I donated some laundry detergent for that cause as well. It feels good. I like donating and giving back, and I like that this stuff is not going to waste. So did that this morning already and it's only 10 o'clock in this afternoon and I'll bring you along uh, we are going to clean out the my linen cl linen closet storage closet in my bathroom I guess it's technically a linen closet it's like one of those little small closets but I have it right now set up which I like in the baskets but I can't see anything so I am pulling all the things out and I'm going around my house and I'm collecting extra little Dollar Tree boxes and containers and baskets that I bought over the time that aren't being utilized. And I'm putting them in that closet to house my stash of personal care items for the year or the six month period that I don't need. Like my shampoo, my conditioner, body wash, stuff like that. So we're going to pull everything out, clean it all up and organize it in a better way than it is now so that I know what I have. And then when I purchase things on couponing, because I do enjoy couponing, those things will either go into that closet to restock what I need or they're getting donated. So we're going to be very brutal this year and not collecting a bunch of stuff just to have it. I don't need that in my life. And couponing will always be there and the stuff will always be there. And that. Sorry, I'm stuffy. The weather today is 39 degrees and misting out, kind of raining off and on, which is not helping my cold allergy situation. I'm feeling much better still on the antibiotics, um, but allergies, you know. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go in the house, oh, bounce it around. 
We're gonna go in the house here in a second. And I'm gonna film a Dollar Tree haul. Or Dollar General. Dollar Tree. We're gonna film Dollar Tree today. And then we're going to, um, my t-shirt's a little big, clean out my closet for sure. So I will probably be in the same outfit for like three videos. Sorry. It's how it rolls. Two videos. Two videos. A haul and today's vlog. So let's get this stuff in the house. All right, guys. My house is a disaster zone. But <laughs> what's up, Luna? Here's my haul that I need to video. That's stuff I'm keeping. That stuff Sarah's taking. That's for my sister-in-law. I have a Dollar General haul over there I need to film. And the dogs and cats tore up my couch. Oh, and a purifier video. Y'all, my life is a disaster. Oh, and a mantle video for a craft I'm doing. Goodness gracious, girl. And a cute little Luna girl. Hi, sweet girl. I know. I know. I just got home. Oh, and here's an Alex. Hey, baby. All right, let's get to videoing. All right, it's organization time, guys. Look at this closet. It's a disaster. It's all coming out, <laughs> all that. And what I have set up is a table. And I'm going to put all of the personal, oh, that's laundry. Put all the personal items on this table, all the shampoo and everything, and we'll stack it out, and we're going to sort it. We are all done. I am so happy. I organized all of those. The bottom is couponing makeup. That is like razors and tissues and Q-tips and cotton balls. That's like medication, band-aids, thermometer, stuff like that. That's stuff I pretty much use on the regular. One basket left. And in that basket, I have just my curl and irons, hair brushes, hair dryer. On this shelf, we have all my moisturizers and Bath and Body Work stuff and then hair product. This will last me a good year. Um, as far as this is one set of shampoo and conditioner, so I'll probably need to get more of that. But it is my mousse and hairspray and hair gel. This basket right there is all travel stuff and my make travel makeup and bags. And that back there is all my toothbrushes and toothpaste dental floss and the like and up there's all my sanitary napkins and I didn't mess with the stuff hanging on the door and I haven't cleaned the top of it off yet but I even organized under my sink that buck uh where is it at over here oops wrong hand anyway that is my diabetes supplies on the in the teal basket and under in the white toolbox is nail polish that's my steamer in here we have um hand soaps nail polish remover uh counter cleaner and then over here is just bathroom cleaner and stuff look how tidy it is guys it just makes me look good feel good <laughs> and that's the donating clothes for goodwill so my bedroom project is done this, besides a black cat, is all I have left to deal with. Um, it's a basket with a bunch of feet ma foot masks, face masks, all my nail files, hand creams, some nail polish that needs to be put away, mirrors. It's just stuff I need to figure out. My surplus of <laughs> candy cane peppermint chapstick, which I'm obsessed with. Um, this is just a little more makeup that I need to figure out what I'm doing with. And then these are just empty makeup bags from when I've traveled in my pajamas. And then my foam board that needs to be put away. And then the cute black cat. Welcome back, everybody. We are making brookies. And if you've never had a brookie, they are delish. It is, you use a muffin pan. I have football liners. It's for a birthday at work tomorrow and they requested these. One scoop. It's a cookie scoop. You can go a little, you know, scoop-ish. Could be a little over full. In each pan. 
And then you put a chocolate chip cookie. I have frozen chocolate chip cookie dough in the top and you bake it for 18 minutes and then it has to sit. Now the trick to this is you gotta let, keep the cookie dough frozen right before it goes in the oven because you need it to be cold enough to allow time for the brownie batter to cook and not to overcook the cookie dough. It's a science. No, it's not, but people love these. I get requests for these all the time. And it is the simplest thing, but it's delish. And I will tell you, when you serve them up, people like them cold, but you can heat them up, like microwave it, and put a scoop of ice cream, because you'll see in the middle, they'll kind of sink. So I'm going to, I have the te oven temperature coming up, and I have to scoop one box of brownie batter will make at least 24. Sometimes I can get more, depends how over full I make my little scooper here. Um, but I can get at least two dozen and that's ideal because you know, nobody wants to bake a half a pan of brookies. So as soon as my oven is up to temperature, I will show you but I'll top these with the frozen cookie dough and then I will put them in the oven and set the timer for 18 minutes exactly and that's the other reason you really want to keep your cookie dough frozen if you go a little longer than 18 minutes now see I have like this really weird amount of batter left I'll just bake a little tray like a little pan of them or something so right now, the oven is getting ready to come up to temperature. I will get the cookie batter out and clean up my mess behind me here. And then we're going to put these in the oven, let them cool, and then I'll package them up. Oh, excuse me. I'll package them up to take to work. And I have enough cupcake liners to make another batch. So we will be back. All right. <laughs> While the oven was coming up to temperature, I went up and changed my clothes. I have been cleaning all day, and I am done. So what we're going to do, I get these cookies at a store called GFS, and they come in a box of 120. I really don't know what size they are, but they're perfect. And I literally just plop them in here. These came right out of the freezer. They're going to go into this little pan, and they're going to go right into the oven. And then... They will bake for their 18 minutes. When they come out, I have to let them sit in the pan for about 10 minutes maybe to um, firm up so they come out nice and pretty. Um, I will say that when I do this for fundraisers, because I do at work, um, I ride in Pelotonia, that fundraising season is coming up. I will make 120 of these, bag them in, in sandwich bags, and then tie them up and I can stick them in my freezer and take them to work. And then they're a fundraiser. Everybody puts a donation. Usually it's like 50 cents or a dollar for these. Um, I also do like eight dozen cupcakes. Uh, you'll see all that coming up, but these are gonna go in the oven and I will be back. And these, my friends, are a brookie. So they're in there. But look at that hole in the middle. It just sinks down. Isn't that screaming for ice cream? If I ate that, I sure would put ice cream in there. But these are delicious. They're all cooled. I'm going to pack them up, take them to work. And it is 7 o'clock, and it is the end of my work day. <laughs> for a Sunday, I am done. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my vlog, and you have a good one. Bye.